What's going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a text reveal in Vegas Pro 15. So from the video you saw at the start, that's exactly what I'm going to be showing you. Now I'm going to be showing you in two different ways. One which is for the lazy people, um, the reason I say that is because the first version doesn't look as good but it does look good. But the second version is a lot more time consuming but I believe it looks a lot more cleaner. So the first version, which is super simple, I have a cyan background here. I'm going to right click and select a new video track. I'm then going to come to media generators. I'm going to come to legacy text. I'm going to drag and drop on the default text right here. I'm just going to call this savage all in capitals and I'll change the font to something better. So now the next thing we need to do is right click and insert another video track. We're going to head over to media generators, come to solid color. And now this solid color is going to be the line, which is going to come down up or across. Now I'm going to pick white because it will go well with the text. And of course it'll go well with the background. So your whole video will change to white. That's okay. Come to the pan and crop tool from here. You want to select the mask tool. You want to come to the rectangle tool and simply draw it out, draw out a line. Now you want it just longer than the actual um, text itself. And then we're going to come to the move tool and we are just going to position this. So right there, I am happy with it. So the next thing we're going to be doing is sliding it down. Now, as I slide it down, that's when I want the text to appear. So we're going to worry about that after. So first of all, I'm going to come across and you can see we have the time code down here. I'm going to take just under two seconds to make this effect happen. So I'm going to change this to move in white only so we can stay accurate and I'm going to drag this down. There we go right here. So I'm going to X out of it. And now what we're going to be doing is really simple. We're going to head over to transitions. We're going to come up to gradient wipe and we're going to come down. And remember um, the way this line has just been animated, it's coming down. So with that being said, we need a gradient wipe, which is coming from the top and coming down, which is this one right here. I'm going to drag and drop this onto the text playing it through. It might not look as clean because we do need to time the transition. So playing it straight away, you can see way too quick. So I'm going to come across to the part just where the line is on the last bit of the text. I'm then going to drag out this transition and it will be in real time. So if I play, if I keep going, you can see, this is how it will look. Now I'm going to come to the start and I'll play this through. As you can see, that is how it will look. Um, you will need to play around with the settings because you want it to look as clean as possible. But that's the first way. And like I said, it's the lazy way because although it does look okay, it doesn't look great. So I want to be showing you the longer way, which I think looks the best. So same setup. We have at the bottom, the background in the middle, we have our text and at the top here, we have the white line across the text. Now there's one more thing we need to do and we need to right click, insert another video track and it has to be above the text. This time come back to media generators, come to solid color and I'm going to drag on cyan. Now, once again, everything will disappear. That's okay. X out of it. Now, before we do something else, I'll just explain what we've done or why we've done it. So the background of course is cyan and this is also a cyan. Now what this uh, second background color is going to do is actually cover the text and be in line with this line to create the transition for us. So the first thing I'm going to do is select this button, which is G uh, edit generated media. And I'm going to change the color to something really visible. So just to make life easier for us when it comes to the editing. So I'm going to X out of it now and I'm going to come to the masking. I'm going to enable the masking and I'm once again going to use the rectangle tool and I'm just going to estimate where the text is. Now what ideally I am trying to do is line it up with this bar. So that's all in position. Of course, the next thing is to make the effect. So this will require some keyframing and this is what I recommend you do. Come across here and use the timeline to your advantage. Um, you can see we already animated the uh, line timing. So all I'm going to be doing is coming to that keyframe, which is right here, have sync cursor checked X out of it. And as you can see, it's right here, press M on your keyboard to lay down a marker. Then from this marker, 
select the background and now we're going to come to the position tool we're going to change it to move in Y only and we're going to simply drag this up bringing it below the line now for the first keyframe it's going to be up here for the last keyframe it's going to be down here so if I play this through this is what we've just done now let's make it look a lot better let's change the background color back to the original background color so super simple uh, select the color select the back, uh, color picker and select the background now it's disappeared so hopefully it's not gonna lag I'm gonna play it through with preview and auto and this is what we've just done as you can see just like that we've created a text reveal using a box or a, yeah a, basically a box and the line which makes it gives the illusion like the align is revealing your text when in reality it's just a box now this is what i meant earlier this does take a bit more time to do but i personally believe this looks a lot more cleaner than the version i showed you earlier and i highly recommend if you're going to do any video editing take the extra time and just create this little effect here and once again, this line can be coming from the bottom to the top. It can be coming from the left to the right. It can be coming from the right to the left. It can even be becoming a uh, diagonal. It's really simple to do. And if you want it at the top, then just repeat the exact same keyframes in the opposite order. If you want it to the side, just reposition it to the side and use the exact same steps I've shown you.